send your selfies to NASA because you a star. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda Ensing and today I'm gonna show you how to get NASA to recognize your highlight, okay? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys the ultimate highlight hack. This is like the best tip for a beaming, glowing highlight. Like if my highlight isn't glowing in the dark, I'm not doing it right. The power goes out, you don't need a flashlight because you're gonna have your highlight. Seriously, this highlight is everything. If you've ever struggled with getting your highlight like super glowy, super beaming without it looking cakey, this is going to save your life and it is so easy. Aspen's like, say hi. She keeps like wanting to come up. She's like so different than Molly on camera. She like loves the lights in the camera where Molly will not look at the lights. I think she wants to be a YouTuber when she grows up. She's like always playing with my cameras and stuff. Obviously when you want a really bright highlight, you can just layer it on. Like for a long time, I just layered and layered and layered it on. Um, the only problem is if you have a lot of texture on your skin, it's gonna show up. Like even right now, I have this little guy right here, which I think I might make into a beauty mark after I finish my makeup. Um, but if you have any texture on your cheeks, you're gonna see that when you highlight, because highlight emphasizes texture. Also, it can look really powdery and really off. I've been through that. Sometimes I go through that as well, and it sucks because straight on, it almost looks like dirty. I don't get into liquid highlights as much. I know a lot of people like to layer them. They do a liquid and then a powder. For me, I feel like it's just too much, and when I set my powder under my eyes, I feel like somehow it still can get messed up and I'm just not the biggest liquid highlight going like straight on the cheeks. I just, it's not really my thing. This is so much easier and I feel like it works so much better and it eliminates you having to use two different highlights, but it is two different products. So my trick is using oil. It is, oh my gosh, it's, it's the best you're gonna see in a second. My favorite one to use is the Farsali 24 Karat Elixir. Now this is pricey. I know I use this all the time. When I use more expensive products on my channel, they will usually be products that I use on a regular basis. If you guys ever invest in anything that's pricey that I buy, I wanna make sure that you buy it and you use it a lot. Like I will rarely use something that's really expensive and then you never see it again unless I'm reviewing it. Like you guys see this probably in every single video. I use it every night. I use it every morning. I'm such a believer in this product. So for me, this is an investment, but it's so worth it. But I do have a few more options to show you guys. I would say the most affordable is gonna be bio oil. As you can see, I'm almost out. I've used this since college. It's really great. You can get it under $10 at a Walgreens or CVS or Target. This is the two fluid ounce, and I use this for so many different things. I will use it on my face, under my eyes. I will use it on my body, on scars. I have a recent scar on my foot, so I've been using this on that. So I get a lot of use out of this. This is the most practical out of everything I'm mentioning. You could also use the fresh sea berry oil. I also am a believer in this product, it's great. And then I also have some MAC essential oils that you could also use. Just make sure whatever oil you're gonna use doesn't break up your makeup. Like coconut oil is probably gonna break up your skin because you can use coconut oil as a makeup remover, so I don't know that I would use that. But any of these oils should be a-okay. So I'm gonna use the Farsali oil today. All I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender, you could also just put it on your finger if you want, and I'm just putting a few drops on the end of my beauty blender, and I'm gonna go right where I'm gonna highlight. You can see how it makes your skin glow. And then I'm gonna take Fix Plus. This is optional, I'm just extra, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna take this loose highlight from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Fiji. I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier fan brush. I'm just gonna go right where I put the oil. Like, do you see that? And I just blend it into the skin, dragging it down slightly so you don't get any demarcation lines of highlight. Like, that is just one layer. Like, it's unreal, you guys. And you can build this up as much as you want. Like, look at that. That's crazy. Same for the other side of my face. I'm just taking some drops. The oil does all the work for you, so you don't have to use as much product. And it's like so insane. I'm so used to like layering and layering that even now like I wanna layer more, but I don't need to. I'm not going to because I don't need to. It's like enough. You get so used to piling on highlight that once you do this trick, you're just like, all right. 
like that's it. You don't have to do anything else. I'm gonna take a smaller brush with some of the highlight just to highlight like my brow bone. And then I'm gonna go on the inner corners of my eyes. And you can see like, it's just not as intense. Like look at this and look at this. And I'm like putting a lot on the brush, but like the inner eye just doesn't compare to the cheek. I'm gonna add more. Also gonna go on my nose and between my eyes. I'm like a disco ball right now and I'm living. I'm just gonna go on my decolletage and my shoulders. Like even this, it just can't compare. Can't compare. I'm gonna go back to my Fix Plus just to seal everything. This is the coconut one. Oh, it smells so good. Just a little more in case. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and to hit subscribe if you have not already joined my precious A-team. I love you guys so much. Also, don't forget to hit your little notification bell. Turn that bell on so that way you know when I upload. YouTube has changed a lot of different things the last couple of months and it's super frustrating and discouraging because I feel like it's harder for you guys to know when we upload now. So please make sure your notifications are on so that way you guys know when I upload. I would hate for you guys to miss a video. I put a lot of work, time, and effort into my videos. Like this is my life. I'm always working on my social media. So it is discouraging when YouTube does that. So make sure your bells are turned on and that way you will know when I upload. I am wearing clothes. I like tried to get it so you guys could see the dress, but I'm wearing this really cute pink dress and you can't even see it because it looks like I'm naked. So many people asked about these hoops in my last video. These are from Fashion Nova. I love them because they're super lightweight, like they don't hurt at all. I mean, I kind of feel like they're kind of small. Like, you know, I feel like they could be a little bit bigger, like, you know, but I love them. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.